case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1991, the Superior Court of Pennsylvania heard the case of Commonwealth v. Rementor, which hinged on the idea that strong connections between a defendant's actions and the outcome are required to establish criminal responsibility, along with evident malicious intent. Charles Rementer was tried and found guilty for the assault and subsequent death of Mary Berry, which took place on April 19, 1989, in Philadelphia. The two were arguing in a bar before Berry left and entered her cab. Rementer pursued Berry, forcing her into the passenger seat before driving off. As Berry screamed for help, Rementer beat her and pulled her hair, trying to prevent her escape. Tragically, Berry was crushed to death by a passing vehicle while trying to free herself from Rementer's attack. Rementer challenged the conviction, contending that the prosecution did not provide sufficient evidence linking his conduct to Barry's death, and failed to prove malice. However, the court found that both the direct causal relationship and malice were evident in Rementer's actions. Witnesses testified to the ferocity of Rementer's assault, which took place only minutes before Barry's death. Malice was inferred based on factors such as the size of the assailant, how his fists were used, the intensity of the attack, its duration, and the presence or absence of provocation. In light of this evidence, the court upheld Rementer's third-degree murder conviction, setting a legal precedent for establishing criminal liability based on the direct and substantial connections between the accused's conduct and the fatal outcome. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.